before I come to research, uh, let me first uh, explain uh, what symbolic uh, computation is about. So uh, just think of mathematics as a general discipline. Usually you connect mathematics with numbers and people, researchers working in symbolic computations are interested in deriving algorithms for computing with symbols instead of numbers. Let me give you my favorite example. Uh, it's concerning, for instance, let's just uh, assume we want to sum the first four integers. Doing this, you add one plus two is uh, three, plus three is six, plus four gives you as the result 10. You might think of a slightly more general problem. You add five numbers, 10 numbers, say 100 numbers. So let's do the 100 numbers problem. So we then stop at 100. And now if I ask you what is the sum, it would take you a while to add all these numbers or you use your pocket calculator. Uh, but mathematicians know a formula for that, namely, I think now of this formula and apply the formula to obtain 5050. And what is this formula? Let me write this down because uh, we need this for further explanation. The formula is of general type, namely it describes what happens if you add the first n numbers up. So the description being that it's n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So if you look back, all our examples here are just special cases of this general symbolic formula. So for instance, if you take 100 as the big N here, you have 100 times 100 plus 1 divided by 2. This gives you 5050. And you don't need to compute. You, you just need to fill in this formula and you do a modest computation instead of this n minus 1 additions. But now comes the best part, uh, namely research. Research in symbolic computation is a mathematical discipline that uh, derives such symbolic formulas with computer programs in an automatic fashion. So we are doing research in designing such algorithms uh, to give you general answers to solutions. For instance, uh, Professor Buchberger, already in his doctoral thesis, uh, developed an algorithm that can be used, among many other things, for solving complicated systems of equations, also called algebraic equations. So this breakthrough served as a major stimulus for the development of a whole area his algorithm is implemented in all major computer algebra systems in the world. Uh, another example, for instance, is uh, Professor Winkler uh, being an expert in computer algebra. Uh, his expertise uh, ranges uh, from algebraic curves, differential geometry, to differential algebra. This includes differential equations. He published various uh, textbooks and monographs on this theme. Other aspects of risk research concerns uh, the formal specification of computer algebra software. This, for instance, is important to guarantee correctness of algorithms. Correctness meaning that the algorithm delivers the uh, result one wants to have. Other applications are, or developments, uh, not only applications, but uh, really research developments concern the design of general mathematical provers this allows to reason uh, about theorems, about mathematical theories even. So an example here at risk is the Theorema project. And last but not least, uh, my own research group here at risk uh, it develops uh, computer algebra programs, algorithms for solving problems in combinatorics, also in special functions. So applications range, for instance, from uh, generalizations of the summation problem I spoke about a couple of minutes ago to highly non-trivial applications concerning interactions of elementary particles in physics. So more precisely in quantum field theory, physicists uh, from DESI in Germany are using 
packages from our group to do their physical computation. Due to the general symbolic and algorithmic methodology, symbolic computation has a particular wide spectrum of possible applications and high potential for doing significant applications in various areas. They range from mathematics and computer science to applications in natural sciences like chemistry, physics, biology, etc. And in industry, so we have the software, uh, the risk software company in-house. Uh, also, I need to mention that due to the algorithmic background, not only Buchberger's algorithm can be found in many computer algebra systems, but most of the developments uh, we are doing here at RISC are implemented in computer algebra systems, and those packages are used worldwide for practical problem solving. To RISC, it's of particular importance to contribute to the scientific communication and to dissemination of results. So RISC is organizing conferences. Uh, one of the high peaks was last summer in 2007. We hosted more than seven international conferences ranging from themes like mathematical knowledge management, parallel computing, to algebraic biology. This year will be again a very busy year. Uh, so in 2008, in July, we will host the major conference, or one of the major conferences in symbolic compu computation, the ISAC, 08, where certainly more than 150 people from all over the world will come here. So RISC consider considers the organization of such workshops as one of its primary activities. Let me try to give an answer in a nutshell. Most people, I think, agree on mathematics being a key technology in modern science. So I feel there is to be expected a strong explosion of the field in the very near future. Explosion means expansion, and I also expect a dramatic expansion of the Risk Institute. <laughs>